Hey everyone, this is Art from GoMeasure 3 d and this is a Geomagic Design X tutorial. Let's take a look at how we can use regions for easier selection and to extract solid primitives. You should know that only a mesh object can be segmented into regions, and regions are not needed for all workflows. But in general, utilizing regions will save you time making selections, extracting solid primitives, and snapping to surfaces. So let's dive in. Go to the Regions tab and click Auto Segment. These controls will help the software identify features in your model. Generally, a higher sensitivity will usually create more regions. My scan is kind of rough, so I don't want my tool to be too sensitive. Click OK to run this command. Now that our model has been auto segmented, let's take a look at the geometry that this tool has identified. For example, here's a cylinder, another cylinder, a plane, and the occasional freeform surface. You can change the geometry type in the property tab on the right. For example, this isn't a cylinder, it's more of a freeform surface. Multiple regions can be merged by selecting and holding down the shift key, then clicking the merge tool. Regions can also be split by selecting the split tool and creating a polyline to separate along. We can also manually select parts of the mesh to create custom regions. Just use the selection tools available and click Insert. So now let's talk about how we might use regions. Regions help us make selections quicker. They allow us to extract CAD primitives, like this cylinder for example. And when we're making extrusions, it can help us snap to surfaces, like this plane here. For example, in making this extrusion, I can turn on my mesh and regions and change my extrusion direction to up to region and simply click on the feature I would like to snap my extrusion to. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.